What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WR3D21. I have 10 more weeks on this NXT contract, and I would definitely love to challenge a champion. So, Finn Balor. We were on the same team versus AEW yesterday. Well, give me a shot. Please. Please give your boy a shot. Balor Club. I'm looking at you to give me a title opportunity at the next takeover. And again, just gonna hit start. It, I literally hit start. What more do you want from me? Start. I hate this game. I figured it out, but I hate this game. Why won't you let me challenge Finn Balor? There. We're supposed to be friends, Attack Slug. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. When... We're we friends, Finn Balor. You give me a shot at the title. I hate you. Make it happen. Titles are more important than friendship. How about Killian Dane? Don't make me spend five minutes to make it happen in this stupid, stupid menu system that is not built for, for a controller. It's built for a phone, which is the problem here. So again, only hitting start. And why? Why? Killian Dane, why? I tried. And now I gotta go fight Kona Reeves, the finest. I thought Balor Club was for everyone, Finn. But now I don't get a shot because we're friends. Boo. I say boo to that and I welcome you to a fine Wednesday here on the program. Speaking of NXT, it is Wednesday and we have NXT versus AEW once again this evening. Will the ratings still, say, st still stay in the favor? of AEW. We'll see. But before that, and to follow up on a story from earlier in the week, we have... Oh, that was why I ha had on the red in that cutscene, because he has the red for his ring gear. I forgot. It's been so long since I've seen him on TV. I would forgot about The Finest. So, in a somewhat follow-up to reports from earlier this week on superstars doing extra dumb things... Braun Strowman, looking at you. We have the fact that there are several places in Florida, in the Orlando area, that are under investigation for being COVID hotspots, for spreading this thing even further. And of those like 15 or 19 listed places, three of them were WWE. That is the Full Sail Arena, that is the PC, and that is the Amway Center are hot spots. Imagine that. And of course, there was a statement from WWE saying, no, 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 we operate on a closed set, it's fine, even though they just started to have NXT tickets again in a limited capacity. No, closed set, really, we swear. And the best part of that whole thing is that they're like, oh, we, we only have essential personnel at our events. And we've tested 10,000 times, it's fine. But the problem is, when your essential personnel are people like Braun Strowman going to bike rallies with no masks or distancing, that's going to be an issue. So when your essential personnel are the problem, that's not going to solve the problem of your issues with these hot spots and outbreaks when people are not taking it seriously who work for your company. Again, and I, I know Florida... I said, oh, it's fine. Open it up. Uh, I'm thankful I'm in New Jersey because, man, I can't imagine being in Florida right now. That's dangerous, to put it lightly. So, again, take it seriously. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and D.I.E., what the hell. And I'm sure AEW is, has, you know, similar issues. So, I'm not going to put the off the hook on that. Certainly, Chris Jericho going to Sturgis and doing his concert there was a dumb, dumb thing. So, WWE is not the only one that you can say sloppy shop for. But when they're being targeted for being a hotspot by, you know, the state government, that's a problem. So, of course, they're like, no, it's fine, don't worry about it. But, yeah, still continue to worry about it. Now, it wouldn't surprise me, right, unlike the gyms, and the churches and wherever else is on this list of, you know, pl places that are being investigated for being hotspots. 
Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a mysteriously large donation that makes us all go away. Is my thing there with them and how they operate and who they're friends with and who they know in the government, etc., etc. So yes, uh, as the Simpsons would say, uh, let's say it moved me into a bigger house. Oh wait, I said the loud part quiet and the quiet part loud. Whoops! Kona Reeves, the finest. Aubrey, count. These rope breaks have certainly made this much more difficult than it should have been several times in beating Kona Reeves. Like, he was donezo. Styles clash. Oh no, who's here? Fondongo. One half of your tag team champions is here. But whose side is he on? Do 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 And he wants to beat up who? Who who? Me or Kona Reeves? Cause I'm here to beat the finest. And if Fondongo and Tyler Breeze, Breezongo if you will, want a piece of the pie, they can certainly have it. But again, I'm not here in NXT for tag team wrestling. I'm here to make them tap and make them snap and win some gold. Now stop giving me the rope break video game. Kona Reeves. Yeah, Fondango is not here for me. I'm so happy about that. He's not here for me. He's here to hit that belt on Kona Reeves. And I, is he in a tag team? I don't know. Here we go. Finish. 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 Knee. Two. Face. Aubrey. Oh my god. Could you be any more out of position dealing with Fondango and his dongoing? And still a three count. Attack slug gets it done. You only won because Fondango handed it to you. Yeah, but also the rope break handed it those... Whatever. We'll see what happens when I get you on your own. Yeah, Kona, we'll see. You'll get a knee to your face. And that'll be that. The finest. How about punch you in bunches? How about that? Huh? Huh? Fondango's like, yeah, this is cool. It's fine. Whatever. I'm just hanging out. And my stamina goes up. My skill goes down. I wonder why. Fondango got a buzz. Deputy Dango doing the dang thing. Smackdown's ratings have slumped since Elias became their champion. Should have let the belt on Roman. That's all I'm saying. He is the chief. Kushida severely injured his head in a match and is unable to wrestle for the next five weeks. Man, that sucks for him. Fondango's rep being associated with Breeze is bringing him down, but how? They're fantastic. Killian Dane's toughness is down, and yet he won't answer my challenge. Wrestling Revolution is now the lowest ratings of everybody here with 69%. X-Pac is very sad about it. Stu Grayson released by AEW, going to the dojo, a dark order no more. Evil Uno is sad that Stu has left. Tag Team Championship. Wait, versus Kona Reeves' team? Isn't Fondango and Breeze the champions? Like, what's going on here? Why? How? What? Huh? I don't want to be in a tag team. Why? Fondango and Breeze are the tag team champions, so this makes no sense at all. But, hey, Gillian Dane. I'm just gonna say you should probably have a match with me. That's just all I'm saying. I just want someone to pick a fight with me. Hey! We get a match. Done deal. Sign on the line, take over. It will be Dane and Slug for that North American Championship. It's a date. So next takeover, which is uh, the next week here on the show, which will probably be tomorrow on this show. Hell yeah. I finally get my shot. So the, and now it's no longer a tag match to the empty arena match versus, all right, fine. Whatever versus Conan Reese's team. That's okay because we have pay-per-view next time. Empty arena, but it's a full arena. So is that an option? I gotta go change in the options. I didn't change it. Whatever, man. Anyhow, me and Dexter Loomis one more time. Why is it me and Dexter Loomis? I don't know, but he's my two-time tag partner now. And last time, I didn't I didn't tag him in. He was mad about it. So, you know, that'll happen. But it's Kona Reeves and 
the Mighty Don't Kneel. So it's 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 Cone Reeves and Shane Thorne, I guess. Why is Shane Thorne continuing to get into my beardness? I have no idea. But here we are, and here we go. You know, my thing is the peeps. The whole world is in shock right now. Everyone wants to know why I did what I did. What did I do? Don't you get it yet? That's the reason. I'm the biggest talking point in wrestling. What What did I do? I'm not going to say in the shadows. My light is too bright. What? I'm lost. I'm lost. The spotlight stays on top of me. Yeah. Attacks are the only thing that matters. Uh-huh. Here we go. Go! Shane Thorne, Kona Reeves, Dexter freaking Loomis, Face Buster. Whatever. So, the rumor for Survivor Series is an appearance from The Dead Man, because that will be his 30th wrestling anniversary of his debut. Not wrestling, but his 30 years in WWE. That is, his debut was Survivor Series. So, will they have him appear? I would hope so. I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll wrestle. But certainly in appearance uh, is all the sense in the world for that whole thing. Because honestly, what they should have done is... Had we not been in a pandemic and had things not gone the way that they've gone with him uh, in the past like year or so... If you were to have a actual retirement career on the line last match... Why wouldn't you do it at the exact 30 year anniversary of your debut in the company... That makes the most sense to me, but again, things didn't quite work out that way, so in appearances, you know, fine. Stop running the ropes! Future Shock DDT! Dirty Deeds! Done! Dirt! Cheap! And... Look at that! Just like Moxley! We got the win, Tax Slug! It was a pleasure! Thanks, Loomis! I was gonna say, Paradigm Shift! We're a pretty good team! I'm fighting... Killian Dane for that NXT singles title, Loomis. So no, it wasn't a one-off, it was a two-off. And two, 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 sweet! But whatever, I'm an ingrate, I get it, it's fine. Oh no, now he's fighting me, now he's fighting me. And Shane Thorne mad he, he lost so easily. He lost so easily. And Conan Reeves didn't, didn't even get tagged in there. So couldn't even be the finest. Kona Reeves' status not affected. He didn't get, you know... Attack Slug is now a heel! Please tell me that does not preempt my match with Killian Dane, who also should be a heel. Please. The match is booked. You can't unbook it. Please. Loomis. Not affected. What did I do to turn heel? I don't... understand. But here I am, with a heel turn. Maybe now, Finn Balor will give me a match. Maybe. I'm not gonna count on it, but maybe. Booker T and Dominic Mysterio defeated the Street Profits to be the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Can you dig that? EC3, the most popular in Impact. You might even say he's the top 1%. Evil has left New Japan for Impact. So now everything is evil. Darkness. Walter had his neck seriously damaged is out for nine Weeks. Walter has been sure of that championship because he could not defend it because he's out with an injury. Because that's how titles should work, Brock Lesnar. Petey Williams defeated Sin Cara to be the new inter-champion of Wrestling Revolution. And tomorrow, I get my shot against the Beast of Belfast against the NXT North American Champion, Killian Dane, a tax select with eight weeks on my contract and a new heel turn. I want that gold. I'm coming for it tomorrow on the show. Y'all better tune in. I'm a tax select. See you then. See you next time. And I'm out.